Laura, played by Matilda Lawler. Uh, what's interesting is that she's playing a 10-year-old, but she's playing it in a way that she has such an adult point of view, and the way that she sees the world is so unique and exciting. And through her and her vision of what she sees the world, and through this magical squirrel, the superhero squirrel that she finds, um, hope kind of comes back into this family's life, and that hope kind of brings the family back together. But it's so fun because you get to see the change in all the characters. Like my character at the beginning is a little bit sadder, and after he sees all this hope and magic that's in the world, his life blossoms, you know what I mean? And with that, you know, his, his wife Phyllis, played uh, by Allison, it's, it's, such a, it's such a fun thing to watch this family kind of be at an impasse and not know what to do and have so, much, so many questions. And then through this incredible daughter, uh, Flora, and through this magical squirrel, the superhero-like squirrel, uh, all these magnificent things happen. I play a character named George Buckman. I play the father of Flora, who in the book uh, is not in it quite that much, but uh, Brad Copeland wrote, wrote this great script where uh, George and Phyllis are, you know, uh, George, Phyllis, uh, and Flora. It really follows the story of them and William Spiver, which is gorgeous. Um, and my character was used to write uh, his own comics, but never really had what it takes to publish them, whether it's that he was afraid that he was going to fail or he just didn't believe in himself. Um, and so that imagination is so ingrained in his daughter and the way of thinking and the way this, you know, building your own world is so ingrained in Flora that it's great to see it pass down from generation to generation. But um, even though I start off as feeling like I'm kind of being beaten by the world, in the end I feel like I'm triumphant and people understand me and really connect with me finally, which is exciting. Danny plays Miller and he plays the animal control gentleman who is worried that Ulysses has rabies and wants to capture him and wants to take care, like, you know, to get rid of the problem and figure out the problem. And he can't quite understand that this is a magic squirrel and that this is something we need and da da da, da. So he's play. it's incredible. And Danny gets to show off all of his, like, physical comedy stuff. And it, it's, he's such a funny human and a funny actor. And he gets to really go crazy in this. Uh, he's awesome in this. I can't wait for people to see it. Lena Khan is directing this film, uh, and she's been fantastic and wonderful. And one of the great things about Lena is that she has a complete vision. She's also, she works her butt off. She wants this to be as good as we want this to be. She has really put everything she has into this. And you can see it every day, and she's collaborative, and she has, she's able to keep her vision, but also be collaborative with the actors, and also the thousands of different departments that are coming after you uh, each moment. And so uh, it's inspiring to watch her work, and it's a big moment for her, and I really want it. I think we're really excited um, because she's nailing it, and she's putting together a really exciting, fun movie, uh, and she's putting her stamp on it, which makes it, you know, like what makes it feels like a Lena movie. And for this to be one of her first projects, you know what I mean? It's a big undertaking, and she's really doing it, man. She's really coming to play, so it's very exciting.